Five knights for a queen and two rooks. So I should lose this game. These are big odds. Big, big odds. Okay, here we go. Let's play E3. Okay. So this should be two. I'm up a, I'm up a minute on the clock. So if this guy plays well, I'm going to have to go for the moral degradation. But we'll see. Why was I not invited for poker night? Um, I, I mean, I've already said, like, that's not my kind of thing. I don't really have any interest in that. So uh, I wouldn't expect to. Also, frankly, I'm on the East Coast. I'm not flying to Vegas for something like that. I mean, I'm just not traveling unless there's a good reason to travel. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go B3, Bishop B2. Now, I can maybe clog the center of the board in a second. So it's kind of maybe okay. Poker is haram. Um... I, I maybe I don't know uh, I'm in Florida that's why I'm in Florida so yeah all right I guess I'll play a three c3 something like that Botez bullet version you get 2700 maybe yeah am I good at shogi I've played a little bit but no I'm, I'm not good I'm not good at it what would be a good reason to travel uh I don't know something like TwitchCon maybe um something like a major chess competition those would be good reasons to travel I'm going to go here in knight c2. I, I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but I'm doing something. Am I excited to be back in the state of humidity, gators, and rednecks? Very funny, you guys. Very funny. Everybody bashes Florida, but hey, in Florida, you've got good internet, unlike in Minnesota. So, you know, I, I, I don't know what you guys are all, all like, on about. Um, go knight c5 and hit the bishop here. Stop it, Wesley is the GOAT. I mean, I'm, I'm somewhat joking. I'm just saying, like, people talk about how terrible Florida is. Florida this, Florida that. But hey, Florida's got better internet than Minnesota. Um, I guess I will play Bishop B2, A4, B4, something like this. Florida known for great internet, yeah. Knight B4 is an incredible move by my opponent, by the way. Incredible move. What? Huh? That was okay. That was a little bit weird. A lot of big streamers live in Florida. Well, didn't Ninja? I mean, there's what the whole group, Ninja, Timmy, and, and Cloak. Cloak, I think they're all they're all like on the other side. Actually, so is uh so is uh Tifu as well. Alright, let's go B4 here, maybe A3. I'll go here, Bishop C3. Keep it very simple, keep it very chill. All right, he plays c5, another extremely good move by my opponent. I'm going to go rook d1 and take here. Florida is hot, though. Hey, I, I'll take a Florida I'll take a Florida summer over um, over uh, East Coast winter. Like, those, the winters on the East Coast just kill me. I, I can't do it anymore. Night before is incredible. The night c2 is completely insane. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I think I'm going to win the game, though, because he's, he's kind of misplaying this. His knight is sort of off to the side. It's not doing anything. I can go, like, bishop b3, knight d3, etc. What is what is this variant? This is, um, we're, we're basically, we we no fends, and so we create positions on chess boards in our spare time, and we, we create odds games. Uh, a lot of thought goes into it, and that's how we that's how we play these games. So we have fends. We, we, because you can go and you can create the position on a, on an empty board and figure it out. Um, there goes the rook. Do I have any thoughts on Michigan? Um, I mean, of course, Michigan's great. I've been to Detroit many times. I, I've always enjoyed my my time there. No, Flor Florida's um, or not Florida? Sorry, Michigan is amazing. um i can play rook c7 i can also go h4 uh what were you were asking something subs create those odds no they don't but that's an idea maybe have subs uh in, in the discord maybe they can come up with odds odds games they can go set up them before try to come up with something really creative and we can maybe use them um i think i check i bishop b4 yeah this kind of went downhill really quickly for my opponent please do a face reveal this is my face reveal you guys it's not like uh what was it face off uh, that very old move with Travolta and Cage. I'm sorry, you guys. This is my face. Sorry. 
Um, I've never been to Australia. No, I've never been to Australia. Nope, I haven't. All right, this should be should be game over. <laughs> Why is there an advert every two seconds? There shouldn't be. Oh, uh, there goes the queen. Very old movie. Yeah, I know that really makes me sound like a boomer, doesn't it? When I talk about it, a ancient movie like that. Actually, that movie, probably most of the chat was not alive when that movie came out. When did that movie come out? 1997. Yeah, I mean, a lot of chat was not alive then. Go F4 here. Captain Julio just resubbed for six months. Yeah. Let's go here. All right, we got another one. <laughs> um, okay, let's play Decode 98. You're up next, Decode. All right. Uh, so my opponent has what? A queen and two rooks. He's a queen, two. He's got what? Two bishops for two knights. So I have one, two, three, five knights for a queen and two rooks. So I should lose this game. These are big odds. Big, big odds. But I have horses. And as we know from Lord of the Rings, horses are all that matter. Let's go knight e2, maybe knight f4. Actually, no, let's develop. Go here. I don't mind if he trades one bishop for a knight. I mean, it should be good. You know what's funny is I think I played this against one of the computers, and I couldn't beat it with the with the queen and the rooks. I think. I, I think that's what it was. Okay, now... I don't know about likes either, but I want to cut off the squares. And, and the main thing is when you're playing with these knights, you just you need to make sure you get grips. You need like bastions. If you can get if you can get some bastions, good things will happen. But a horse on g5 is worth at least a queen. Yeah, a horse on on f f uh, f5 is. Now I'm gonna take because now I'm gonna start to get some bastions here. I've got some good grips. Yeah, I think I played this against, uh, maybe it was like Komodo, and I could only draw with the Queen and the Rooks. It was very sad. Thanks so much to Coogans for the Prime, they had a Crush for the Prime, they had a Powder Hound for the 14, Captain Julio for the 6, and Suki for the $13.37. Thank you so much. The Bastion of Sebastian, something like that, yeah. It goes there. Now, this is it's already starting to get a little bit critical here. The pawns are a little bit soft. Thanks so much to Scrappy Dog for the sixes. I beat Levy twice in these odds. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit scary here if you're black. Maybe more than a little scary. Okay, now the way... What I need to do is somehow I need to re... Okay, I'm going to go here so I can grip E5. And I still keep the grip on G5 as well. And my knights are very good. I think I take this way because otherwise he gets an open lane. I don't want to give him any lanes here. And I, now I control mid as well with knight E5 and knight G5. You also beat a 2800 with Nightmare, that video. Um, problem though is I just take the juicer. I, I thing is, I, I get what he's trying to do, but I can still just close everything here. Thanks for the game, Sikara. It was fun watching you play the guys at Coffee Chest. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed the game. All right, so basically these knights are now, now these knights are really good. Now I have great grips everywhere. Uh, D5 is also a weakness as well. So. The key here, I'm going to go here and overprotect my knight because otherwise he maybe can sack the rook. Oh, wait, but um, yeah, I'm going to overprotect here with knight d3. I'm just going to make sure he can't ever take this knight. Yeah, I, I mean, I just have this, this huge grip. Now I'm going to go here to make sure the pawns are never weak either. And now I'll just reroute the pony. I'll reroute this other pony and I'm going to go after the pawn on d5 here. And now he can never win anything because all, all the pawns are protected. The knight on d3 holds the knight on e5 and the pawn on b2. Yep, now I go here and now I go after this pawn as well. This is how you use these knights. Classic good knights versus bad queen middle game. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, these knights are really good. Um, I think I'm just gonna take his. 
I mean, it's very hard to play. All the knights guard each other. I mean, I guess he has rook f7, kind of. He goes g5. I'm just going to take. That's a free pawn. I mean, I understand why he plays g5. It's, he's a little bit desperate. But again, these knights, they just, they all guard each other amazingly well. Okay, now I will take. Knight still guards this knight. And this knight goes here to fork the queen and the rook after capture. Yeah, we'll just take. We'll take. And now what do I have? The we've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have three knights and four pawns for a queen. Now a three, 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 this is nine, and then plus four. So I have 13 to 9. So this is not great. But he's trying to get some queen b5. So I do I again don't want to misplay this. I want to hang on to everything that I own. So let's just go here and then knight d3. Oh, I could have gone knight h4, take the pawn. Thank you so much to Ebby Vilela for the 100 bits. Hikaru is the reason I believe in aliens. That's an interesting one. Uh, I'm really down to computer eval for the nightmare starting position. Like, does it really understand how well they coordinate? Like I said, yeah, I mean, I played against Komodo, I think, a long time ago with um with uh with with these odds, I believe. Or maybe I played with one less bishop, but I know I know it was something that I should have been winning, and I couldn't beat I couldn't beat Komodo. I just couldn't do it. Okay, so now the knights are very... Everything's guarded very neatly. Let's just prophylactically bring the king into the game. We'll go here. Now my knight is supported on e4 as well. And again, as long as the pawns are all held... Oops, there goes the queen. Thank you so much to outflop for the nine months. Thank you so much to outflop. Very, very, very tough game for my opponent. But he played well. He did, he did play very well. All right, let's see. Next up we have... Um... We have elf, elf, thro alpha throttle. Okay. Um, this game, yes. Okay, I've seen this one before. I think B three is the move here, even though I'm obviously lost to start. All right, what's it gonna do? Do you know when the location city for world championship is decided? I that is not known yet, but not sure. Could I show my game versus Ripka? Uh I could. Okay, he takes. I mean, I'm I'm actually like in really bad shape. I'm gonna take with the queen. Okay, but now I have queen b2. He made a slight mistake because already he's letting me unwind. The problem is at the start of this game, like I, I'm like, I'm a, I, I'm a, what's, what's the word? I'm very claustrophobic here. All my pieces are stuck, no development. So what he's doing here is he's actually already opening up a lane and pieces are coming off the board. Question is how to, actually knight f6 is a good move. I guess I will take. Go here, go after this pawn. If I can open up the board a little bit, I have chances. Laugh out loud, just join the stream, this is what I see. But the problem is now I get a pawn, and now I'm already getting more space. There's a little bit more oxygen for me to breathe here. This stream is magical. Thank you so much to Leeches or Leeches Guevara. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, I have played this before, but not, not recently. We haven't done odds games in a very long time. I want to say I want to say I haven't done odds games in probably like five months, six months at least. The white bishop is dead, but I'm getting space, and his king can't castle, and I, and I have a four. I can also eat the pawn here. I think I'm gonna. I can also check. Um, I think I'll just eat the bishop. Now he takes, and then I take, and I'm I'm already very close to being better. Because now I'm up two pawns. Bishops are getting active. I finally have some space, and he can't castle. That's the other thing. That's a good move. Um, I can go queen c5, I guess, trade. I can also go queen a6 and get greedy. I can also play d4 and remain greedy. I think d4 is right just to target the knight here with the pawns and I'm just gonna eat the juicer. I think I'm gonna take and hit, hit both. I hit both at the same time. Did I catch any of ALGS tournament? Is that that's what Apex? I didn't catch any of Apex. No. Oh, uh, now he goes Queen C8. I guess I will just trade. 
Eh, trade was actually kind of wrong. But again, I'm getting so many pawns here and now I start to free free myself. Funny thing is I'm probably not that much better here. I am better, I, but I don't think it's actually all that special. I could castle to be funny, but I won't. Let's go here. Rookie eight. Now I'll go rookie one. Try to trade pieces. Again, I'm up so many pawns that I can jettison some stuff on the queen side. So I kind of have to actually. I don't really have a choice. You can't not playing chess.com global chess championship. I am you guys, but I told you earlier, I'll say it again. I'm one of the players who's getting an invitation, so I don't start playing till September. I'm automatically seeded into the final 64. I think King D1 was actually a better move here. Now I go H4, try to open us open up the king side for my rook. Yeah, this is a good song. It's a song about cooking. <laughs> good one. Does how much does talking affect your quality of play? Clearly not a lot because I, I came back and played really well in um in uh in the candidates and in Berlin. So not not that much. Now, this is a good song. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay, let's just go here in knight h3. Because with the king on f2, if I move the knight, there's a check that just wins material. There's a classic kebab with rookie two. So I just dodge it and I go here and now that it's just an empty square. No king. Do you ever fly in first class? Uh, I have flown in first class. I was very lucky on the flight back from Madrid. For whatever reason, Madrid, actually, I do have to say it's a very nice city and I really do enjoy it. But it's not a um it's not really a hub for business or other things so i, I got upgraded because like there literally no one was flying in business on that flight which is kind of weird okay, i'm gonna take it i'm gonna go for the fork here with knight f4 shock when the bishop game over i'm up what five pawns here i came back from madrid uh uh oh fork number two i wish there was a fork number three but i can't find it just start running the pawns I have the white I mean I've got wide peepos I've got serious wide peepos I mean too many wide peepos here you can't stop them all in fact he's not going to stop either of them they're both just going to get all the way down Rich man flies overseas in first class. Uh, it's business class, uh, first of all, and I I had some points that I could upgrade with, so it wasn't it wasn't like I was paying eight thousand dollars. All right, let's keep going. We have Luke Squirt next, second to last game, I believe. Okay, let's go night three, night f two here. Am I in LA? No, you guys. I'm in Florida. I'm in Fort Lauderdale, basically. Have I played the candidates in Serbia? What do you mean by candidates? I played the candidates in Madrid. Maybe you mean Grand. Do you mean like the Grand Prix? There, there was a Grand Prix event in, I believe, Belgrade. I didn't play in that though. You make winning look so easy. Years and years, you guys. Years and years of practice. That's all it is. Will the remaining re remainder queue? Uh, no, we have one more. Oh, uh, we'll probably, I think we're going to do more odds games. I don't know if we'll do it tomorrow because we have a bunch of Tilted Tuesday to play in, but we'll definitely do it on Wednesday for sure. Will I ever travel to Iran? Um, I mean, that's a tough question. I doubt it uh, for many reasons. I mean, I, again, don't want to get into that, but very, very unlikely. Let's see. Um, although they have some amazing chess players. I will say that they have some amazing chess players. Um, amazing chess players. Dailies, we will do our daily stuff later. Yeah, we will. Did most players that can't lose money participating? I don't know if they lost money or not. I'm going to go F4. It's kind of weird, but he's. I've got like the weird pawns in the center of the board. No, I don't mean Ali Reza, actually. Uh, he obviously is the main one, but I mean like Parham Maxudalu, amazing player. Um, Amin, Amin Tabu Tabuyi, amazing player. And they do it with ba with no resources, as I understand, as I understand it, so... Um, yeah. Now, this is an interesting question. Do I take with the E or the C pawn? 
I think I take with a C pawn just to keep the E lane closed. I have been to India, yes, and I will be going to India again um, at the end of this year. Let's go Bishop E2, keep the center closed here. Oh, this is actually... Eh. Play H5, kick the knight back out of town. Thoughts on Sri Lanka situation? That's very sad. Um, I have been to Sri Lanka. Very, very sad situation to see. He missed knight of 494, which was winning, but I, I knew he would miss it. Um, go here and take. Very, very sad situation. My stepdad is Sri Lankan. Yeah, I've been to Sri Lanka one time. One time. Do I think chess should be political? Absolutely not. I don't think chess should be political. But I, but I will say, like, if, I think I know where you're going with that question. I, I, I think that the problem is it's not so much that, like, right now you have someone who's president who's Russian. But the problem is, like, he's not just any old... He's not any old Russian. He was, like, literally one of the chief... I think one of the chief economists in the Kremlin when a lot of stuff happened. That, that's what makes it difficult. Like, Queen F3 here. And play f5 g5 does my stepfather family in sri lanka uh his mother his mother who's like i think she's 90 ish now she she is in sri lanka i think she's okay but um but his siblings and everyone else are there in america america whoops what was that i uh, i don't know what queen g3 was but anyway okay. and what do i think about the shinzo abe thing Ugh. i mean unconscionable i mean in japan of all places unconscionable just that stuff just does not happen in asia it's just i mean i have no words for it no words for that no but actually dexter it's not it's not like i'm not that has nothing to do with guns actually it's just that culturally it's just those like it just does those sorts of things like it's just they don't happen in asia because culturally they, it's just not I mean, it's it's just unconscionable. I don't know. I don't know how best to put it. Um, but yeah, for that to happen in Japan, like I don't. I don't mean anything about guns. I just mean from a cultural standpoint. Just like, I mean, all those countries—Japan, China, South Korea—like it's just not. It's just not a thing. It's just not a thing. I mean, it's like. I mean, you would never do such a thing. Like, I mean, it's just like bring great shame upon your family. All these other things from a cultural standpoint that are just, they, they make, they make no, it just makes no sense. Yeah. I mean, it, it has nothing to do with guns. I'm not talking about uh, guns or gun control or anything like that. I'm just saying from a general cultural perspective, it's just, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Plain and simple. You know, I have a big white center here, so let's let's keep pushing forward. Keep using the pawns in the center. I think we have uh, two more. We have uh, one more game. We have Diaz GG. I think that's going to be the last game to wrap it up. Um, play Rook B1, target the pawn on B7 here. I can actually keep pushing forward. I just realized I can keep pushing the pawns. Let's keep pushing. I've got this big white center. I got to use it. Also, you guys, we ha actually, I'm wrong. We have like another five or six, I think. We're, we're going to do Reddit React. We're going to do Botez Gambit speed run. Um, we, we have a lot of stuff on the docket today because it's going to be a nice long stream. Well, let's just keep pushing. Why not? Is she going to do the Botez Gambit today? I, 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 I am going to do the Botez Gambit today. Thank you. Uh, let's take the knight and take the bishop on d7. Um... <laughs> I, I assume that's just a that's just a slip or something, but let's just take. Um... Meltwater turns on the horizon. No, you guys. I, I said before. I mean, I'm just not gonna play. Oops, there goes a rook. Um. Um. Anyway, let's eat the rook. Rook B6. Um, oh, by the way, have I been to Ireland? Yeah, I've been to Dublin. It's Dublin is great. Maybe um, I have some shot glasses, uh, shot glass in my cupboard from Ireland when I went downtown. I, I think I had like a, I think I had a maybe a night layover after tournament Isle of Man. I mean, I, I loved it. It was great. Dublin was amazing. Big fan. Maybe I'll retire to Dublin because don't they have like advantageous tax laws? Or maybe that's just for corporations. 
Take the rook. Um, sorry if it's personal, but what's your brother's rating? Uh, my brother is rating. Let's see, something. Uh, let's see. My brother's rating is. Let's see, his rating is currently he is um at blitz he is twenty six seventy six, at bullet he is um, at bullet he is uh, where is his bullet? Bullet rating is twenty five ninety four. So not too bad, not too shabby. Um, unfortunately for my man, it's not stalemate. He can still push a pawn. Very sad. 